Looks right to me. You all heard the good news? We got the package. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's show you guys what we got. We went ahead and from Tackle Warehouse ordered 50 bucks worth of Guggen Baits because that's what got us the free shipping. We got uh, one of everything except for the Slim Shake worm, but I did get some of the Drag and Drop worms and the Mondo worms, so I didn't feel too bad because I got a few different colors and a couple of the other baits here. So let me show you what we're working with. Otis, you're messing up the video. Okay, he's done drinking. So check us out. We got the Kraken Crawl in three colors. Black and blue flake, watermelon red flake, and Alabama Crawl. And then over here, we got the Bandito Bug. I wanted plenty of these. I'm going to use these by themselves. And then also, I'm going to probably throw them as jig trailers. I'm going to do a lot of stuff with these. Uh, we got them in black and blue and natural and in watermelon red flake as well. I've used the natural now one time and I really like the color, but I think the black and blue is going to go really good with how murky the water is out here lately. And then we have the uh, Mondo Worm. I only got one bag of the Mondo Worms because I don't go through worms too fast. But I am definitely going to use these. And I think they're going to catch us some big fish. I got them in the natural color. And then we got the Dragon Drop. I'm going to rig these up on a drop shot and we're going to throw these. This is the watermelon red color. And then uh, we have the Trench Hog, which I've already caught two bass on this specific one in the natural color. And I did really like using that, just Texas rigged. And so uh, that's all I've got. And I might not get a chance to actually fish these today. Let me make sure I'm in focus with this screen out. Cool. I might not actually get a chance to fish the baits today, but as soon as I get them out, I'm gonna roll that in right here. All seasons. Good call. Uh, I might need to let this kick in before we start. I got me on the damn auto lock. What's up YouTube, the boys are back in town. The sunset point, and we are gonna try and toss a few different things in the ponds over here. Fish Brain says there's a lot of recent catches. We're going for the big ones, boys. Oh, <laughs> Yo. Starting things off with the, the bandito. Sexy shad chatterbait. I think they're hungry this morning. Oh yeah, I got a good feeling. Oh, quit lying. What are we, three minutes in? I'm just walking and talking. Let's get them. <laughs> Bandito bug, boys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> well, how does Flair do it? I always watch his videos and he slams the damn thing. There we go. That's one this morning for the Texas rigged Bandito bug. Toss him back. Them Googans know how to make some baits. <laughs> what you can do when you Texas rig your baits, and this is occasionally, depending on how torn up they are, you can go ahead and rig it the opposite direction. And even though one side's torn up, this, this looks like now it's going to get held there and placed better on the hook. And uh, you can get away with a few more catches possibly on the same bait before you get to another. There we go. So this side's all messed up and it was wanting to come down off the hook a little bit and it wasn't given the same presentation as I would like. So I swapped it around. Let's see if we can't get a few more hits before we uh, got to run back over to the Rue and get some more plastics. Oh, that might be Bertha right there. Oh, we missed her. Almost took the bug. Dang, messed the hook all up. Maybe we should go back down to this river, the stream river. Oh, fuck. Started off hot, man. We uh, got a fish in the first couple minutes and then we scoured the whole stream, went up to the pond. We've probably been here for about an hour. Uh, man, I had three bites. <sighs> you gotta relearn these things. I didn't let them take it long enough and so I try to set the hook and I pull it right out of their mouth. So what I'm gonna do is just throw all this footage in with whatever's next, whether it's today, tomorrow, next week, who cares? That way we can catch more fish in one vlog, multi-day vlog. 
What's up guys, let's go ahead and resume the video right here. This is the next day, just out here at Savannah, myself and the bandito bug. We're gonna see if we can't pull a couple out of the water here. There he is, finally. Jeez Louise. Ah, oh, we got one. He did play with it for a second. Wanted to make sure he was on the hook. Ow. There it goes. One more for the bandito. All right guys, that officially wraps up the bandito bug portion of the Guggen Bait series which I will be posting more on shortly. I haven't got a chance to use all the baits yet, but I've been throwing the bandito bugs and I've now caught one on every color that I ordered. Watermelon red flake natural and the black and blue. And I'll tell you the natural and the watermelon red flake are pretty similar. The natural has a bit of a silverish almost tone on the on the underside and a green on the on the opposite with like the tiniest blue flakes. Natural is a really good color. And then the watermelon red flake is a more green color all the way around throughout. And it's got the red flakes just to give it a little pop. The black and blue is self-explanatory. It's gonna help you get noticed in the more murky, cloudy water when uh, the natural colors are gonna be almost identical to the watercolor. It's tough for the bass to see, hard visibility. But that's also where you can rely on the appendages of this, this bait. Because what happens is after you tear all those legs apart and get them and the pinchers separated, it creates a lot of disturbance in the water and so they hone in on that as well and I think that's what led to quite a few catches for me. The other day off camera I caught a bass on the first cast with the watermelon red flake. It was my first catch on that color and that's kind of a testament to the scent I believe because as soon as you get these things out of the packaging they're real slippery and slimy with this awesome scent that I'm telling you they go crazy over. And anyways, I think you guys are going to have great results if you choose to try these Guggen baits out, specifically the Bandito Bug, which I have now thrown the most. A few pointers is once you guys get finished using one of these, if you throw a Texas rig like I did in the video, let's say you rip off the top and now you can use this on a jig, like I've got this natural color set up on a green jig here. And so I'm going to go ahead and toss this before I really throw an expiration date on him just because his head got chopped off. I think it caters to a lot of people this bait because the thing is if you want to fish it on the bottom, if you want to throw a Texas rig, you can. If you want to put it on a jig, you can. But then what if you also want to throw it like on a chatter bait? I would say you could definitely do it. I haven't yet, but I'm going to because it's very similar to some of the other creature style baits that I'll throw at the back end of my chatter bait as a trailer. And so I just think with these legs and appendages, it's going to get just as much as attention as anything else. So I'm probably going to use these on a few chatter baits too. So now you're talking about something that's moving or bottom fishing. You've got a lot of versatility with this and I think it's going to see better results than something else that doesn't have a strong scent out of the box. So uh, I'm thrilled with them man, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in the setup that I use to catch any of these fish, that fake black rod, the scorpion DC reel, maybe the green line, I use 30 pound braid for almost all applications. Uh, straight braid I rarely throw a leader which would be like clear line attached then you guys can go ahead and check everything out in the description I keep it posted for y'all and uh, we'll catch you on the next video I think that really wraps this one up man but get you some good and baits dude they're linked in the description too <gasps>